Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Variety Encoder. So in this video we will be seeing the question Hail Sor or H Sor. Hope you have solved all the earlier questions. Some people were asking about the test cases additionally, so I can't give you additional test cases because I am just giving you an approach on how to solve the question and a few test cases. If I give you everything then that's basically giving out the solution and I won't help you with the question so it's basically these videos are for utter beginners who are struggling with computer programming these videos are not for you to just get the solution and increase your rating so uh, I'm sorry I cannot give you the test cases for the previous question but it was very easy and I suppose you must have solved it by now so let's move on to the next question and if you haven't still subscribed my channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon because i will be posting many more videos on competitive programming not only this contest problems but earlier contests and how to become five star coder and other videos on my channel do look them out so let us now focus on this question it says even if you are interested in like android programming or anything else you can leave them in the comment section. I have a few playlists on them. I can increase the content in them as per the community wants. So you are given a sequence of numbers from A1 to AN and you have to perform the following operation exactly X times. So basically there are basically an there is an array and an x and in each operation what you do is we choose two integers i and j choose a non-negative integer p and change ai to ai zor 2 raised to p and change aj to aj zor 2 raised to p where zor denotes bitwise zor so now you need to know what bitwise zor is so please keep in mind that this video is for utter beginners hence I am also showing you what ZOR is. So this is ZOR basically. ZOR of 5 and 3 is equal to 6. That means it is not necessary that when you ZOR two numbers they decrease. The value decreases. It can increase 2. So ZOR of 0 and 1 is 1. ZOR of 0 and 0 is 0. And ZOR of 1 1 is 0. These are the key points you had to keep in mind. So let's now move on. So yeah, we came a lot. So we need to find the lexicographically smallest sequence which can be obtained by performing this operation exactly x times. So we need to perform this operation exactly x times and we need to find the lexicographically smallest sequence. Now what is a lexicographically smallest sequence? So lexicographically smallest sequence is suppose b1 to bn is a sequence it will be a smaller than c1 to cn if basically there exists some integer b which is less than c and all the previous are similar so basically the first point of difference in that b is smaller than c now we are given t test cases and n and x and there are this array now for 30 points it is you can use n cube but you need to solve it for 70 points right because so let's take the first test case it is one the number of test cases one n and k are three and three and two two three is the sequence so basically we need to perform three operations on three numbers so the original consider the following operation choose i equals one j equals two p equals one so we zor 2 with 2 raised to 2 raised to 1 which is 0 and so these two become 0 then we choose i equals 1 j equals 2 and p equals 1 so basically we leave the third number unchanged so we can check that after exactly three operations this is lexicographically smallest sequence we can obtain and this is indeed true because this is the lexicographically smallest sequence we can obtain so now we have looked over the test cases and we looked at the question also 
so what can you think about the approach the time limit is just one second and you need to solve 10 raised to power 5 numbers that means the time complexity should be around n log n or o n now that gives us the answer because the answer was hidden in the time complexity and the power of 2 2 raised to p so now think about the properties of Zohar how the Zohar like how the Zohar can reduce the number and how you can use the x times x operators basically to lexicographically minimize this sequence of a1 to an so i hope you understood this question and if you still haven't understood it do drop me a mail at the iit encoder at gmail.com and if you have any requests please do leave them in the mail too you can leave them in the comment section too and please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't still now and hit the bell icon and thank you very much